Dude, <laughs> my nameplate add-ons aren't working. Where's your health, me. James? Oh, you've used the ray frames, I guess. I've got default nameplates, and it's just not vibing. <laughs> Thank you. Plus, how much mana do you have? None. Oh, okay. I'm swapping to an actual class, be right back. <laughs> One second. <laughs> Actually, Crush, you're taking my spot. No, I'm good, dude. I'll just. No, no, you're taking my spot. I'm, I'm good. Wanna, I'm, I'm good. Yeah, dude. I, I wanna I'm watch good. James. No, 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 I'm good, dude. I'll Wait, just. Wait, did that bring a piece to no, 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 spawn? No, no, no. What? I insist, bro. No, 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 I'm good. It has charges no, 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 no. on the amount of knockbacks it can do. You know, these spots. Good day, ladies and gentlemen. And oh my god, what a wonderful pre patch it has been. Actually, not that bad, but many of you have reached out to say that the sky is falling. Our first raid was. I mean, Th probably this is not <laughs> playable, Alex. No, it's not. And I can't really be fucked to sit here and go through everyone's week or us to try and figure out what's fucked. I know, I know. About you. It got cancelled. Uh, as well as many of you logging in with comments like... Nice UI, Miko. My UI is fucking baller. Uh, your UI is like, gone. Yeah, it's actually just... <laughs> <laughs> That's not good. <laughs> but apparently that still doesn't stop people remembering how to control undead and being able to do this. Congratulations. Uh, no, I, I can't team kill with my boy anymore. No, but I think we're maybe fine. Oh, I can. Goodbye, man. So what are we doing now? We oh, just go to Zul. Okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I want to play my hunter. I'm not playing this shit ever again. That's pretty toxic. You guys want to see something really funny? Yes. Absolutely. <laughs> Did you interrupt <laughs> Pre-patch is a joyous time. It's super fun and it's also kind of upsetting for a lot of people. One night you go to sleep and your character is strong, he is mighty, and then you wake up and suddenly you're bottom of the barrel and you're like, I did nothing. I did absolutely nothing to bring this on. What is happening? But uh, given our growth recently, a lot of you, this is your first World of Warcraft expansion. And you should really bear in mind that pre-patch is a kind of weird time. Although 8.3 has been a circus in and of itself, pre-patch is even worse than that. Because these are characters that are missing like 50% of their tools. And not only that, we're now combining it with the situation where the Shadowlands is still very, very much imbalanced. A lot of the spells aren't doing what they're supposed to do. And Blizzard is still kind of working through all that in time to figure things out. So... It's more a case of, hey, Mike, should I really just drop my character right now? Uh, I've played around with it. Many of you didn't go on the PTR to check these things out. You're playing classes that seemingly right now are performing exceptionally well. We've seen on the logs that the disparity between various classes is all over the place. We've seen like fire mages to kind of drop off the radar, yet they were gods just yesterday. All these kind of things happening at the same time. Uh, no, because we honestly still do not know what the final product is going to be. Now, that's a little scary because Blizzard do want this expansion out this year um, and we still don't have a date for that. So I would expect probably 15th December with the raid starting in January would be my guess. But it's, I mean, I'm pulling that out of thin air. It's just my, it's probably more my hopes that I don't want raid out before Christmas. Uh, that would be kind of annoying for everybody. So I would expect Blizzard is the same. They don't want that kind of hassle uh, <laughs> leading up to Christmas because... Uh, the way things are going to work going forward for those of us who've been through this process many, many times now is that pre-patch is going to have probably some tweaks here and there. The PTR is also getting updates still before the Shadowlands. So that's something to be very aware of is that if you want the most up-to-date version of your character, that's kind of on the PTR, not in the Shadowlands, which is awkward because in the Shadowlands version of the beta, then we can try it with the Soulbinds and Ledgers and the Conduits and all those kinds of things. But we can't do that on the PTR. But Blizzard is more concerned with the PTR because the likelihood is, at this point, you might hear the phrase Heroic Week being thrown around an awful lot. And you should be aware that Heroic Week is a big deal. Heroic Week is when Blizzard finally gets to unleash all the players into more sustained content. Because the biggest issue that Blizzard probably runs into, and we see it all the time, is that people kind of base their experience on open world content, which is kind of laughably easy in most cases i think we can all agree it doesn't matter the skill level gear level or whatever world content is generally designed to be killed and what that means is you can't gauge characters 
in that environment because everything's designed to die anyway and usually those fights last like five to ten seconds in a lot of cases with rare mobs being a little longer but you can't gauge how a class actually functions in that environment heroic week always comes before the release of like the mythic raids and the pvp season because that gives blizzard this little window when they can throw players into situations where they have to perform over several minutes and over that gauge they can get a lot more data now with the shadowlands having so many systems when it launches there's a lot for them to tweak and mess around with after that so heroic week this time around is likely to be kind of mega the strange thing is in 8.3 heroic week yielded no changes which was really obscure like certainly somebody who was at the world first race and waiting for this stuff we all kind of sat with bated breath as to what blizzard would do because heroic week typically results in a massive amount of changes this time around though in 8.3 they didn't do anything they in fact left everything alone and just said get on with it which was good for some who were clearly a bit too powerful but also bad for others who were underpowered like shadow priests were waiting for a big overhaul and nothing happened they didn't just get a flat buff or anything although ultimately by the end of 8.3 shadow priests were kind of fine it didn't help those guys in the early days without non-targetable corruptions and all those kinds of things so it's there is a, a precedent there that blizzard isn't going to do too much but i highly doubt it it's it's become more and more apparent that getting good data from the beta is getting harder and harder at a time when it needs to be better when we talked about the delay i kind of really tried to inspire you guys if you do have beta access we give away a bunch of keys uh, and everyone else is giving away as many keys as possible blizzard really wants more people into the beta to keep testing they are opening up more testing they've given us new realms which actually simulate the level 60 experience fresh without all the advantages you get on the realm that gives you free legendaries and free gear and free consumables and all that kind of stuff and we've been working through that to see exactly what that realm is like because up until now we haven't even been able to try out what it's like at level 60 we don't know like how exactly does this process work so we've got a video for you coming there my main point that i wanted to get out today is that it's been a little uh tough seeing how many people have been a little depressed coming out of the pre-patch again like you look at the holy paladins they went to bed healing gods and kind of woke up at bottom of the tier and are like well i'm just dumping my holy paladin now it's not the time for that pre-patch is never going to be balanced because it's missing all the stuff that's supposed to go with it so you remember you've basically got the base of the cake all the icing and all the flavors aren't until the shadowlands that's when you get the complete picture uh but also the shadowlands isn't done either so you've got these two elements that just aren't meshing right now so try not to panic for those of you who are already like abandoning ship or you know certainly those guys who have been like i'm not playing this game anymore like it's, it's bullshit why would i why would i suddenly be crap i get it it does suck but i would encourage you to enjoy pre-patch we're going to get the scourge invasion coming up soon it should provide some interest i know many of you are hoping for more content in the pre-patch itself but blizzard did make it pretty clear is that because of the delay they can't do the pre-patch events the scourge invasion until they know when the shadowlands is actually coming out so they've had to delay that as well but they've given you the new talents and the new uh, and the new spec overhauls to mess around with and the unpruning to mess around with while they try and get everything sorted uh, i have spoke to a couple of people blizzard it's all hands on deck there they're trying the best to get this right for you what they probably don't need right now and it's not really me shilling for them it's just a case of hassling them right now about balance when they've had to delay the game to try and fix this stuff as well as a number of other issues with the shadowlands isn't helpful that is what they're working on delaying the shadowlands has obviously cost them a huge amount of money and there's nothing i or them can uh, tell you right now well all i can promise is that when we know more you will know more okay when we know more you will know more but now is not the right time to be abandoning ship and trolling all right guys so stay calm relax enjoy the pre-patch get all your characters sorted out do all your pre-expansion stuff so we started this today really important sell all your old bfa stuff get rid of it uh it's going to be useless when the shell line comes out we still have enough time to maybe sell stuff on the auction house to get some of that gold in uh, and have some fun with that so prepare your characters for the shadowlands it's the best piece of advice i can get you fix all your uis sort all that stuff out and on the note of the ui thank you to so many of you You've provided hundreds and hundreds of bug reports essentially uh that i've been working through slowly and getting so many of them done every day the week or a package on the ui video is updated uh with more and more stuff we're going to do as we get close to the shadowlands and less and less bugs are reported um, like just a full, a, bit, a nice fresh one that got everything in it okay so for now if you're missing something specific or something specific isn't working there's a high chance it's already been fixed and it's waiting for you in the shadowlands folder all right guys stay calm relax it's gonna be okay and also covenant wars is tomorrow be excited bye guys